Hello some viewers how are you all welcome back to another video guys in this video we are going to discuss how to generate a random number using javascript we have different kind of methods this will be useful in dynamic kind of programming where you want to generate a random number which you don't which you don't know without any further ado let us start the video guys So for generating a random number, let me show a simple example. I'll put console dot log. I'll put math dot random. So I'll I'll execute this. Note random number dot js. If you execute this, you or every time you execute this, the number will be different. See now. So what if you want a number between one to ten? So what I'll do? I'll copy this. I'll paste it here. I'll put into ten. What it will do? CLS one point four nine. You can see the random number is generated, but it is always a float value. What if we don't need a float value? So I'll copy this. So let me write generating a, a random number. So second one, I'll write generating any number. Between one and ten, so I want a proper whole number, proper integer without a float value. So generating a integer between one and ten. For that, guys, I'll what I'll do? I'll copy this the same console dot log statement. I'll paste it here. Before that, I'll uh, comment this to what I'll do. I have one more method called math dot floor. Math dot floor will what it will do? It will give you the random number between one to ten plus it will give you the whole number, proper integer. I'll add plus one here. So what is what it will do now? I'll clear the screen. So let me use random number dot js. See eight. The any time you give. Always the number will be random. So what if I want between one to hundred? A same thing we have to copy. We can paste it here. I'll write generating the random numbers between one to ten, one to hundred. Now I'm generating the random numbers between one to hundred. So anything can be a random number here. So random number seventy six, eighty, sixty three, fifteen, seventy. So now, in real world, how this random number is useful for you? I'll share you an example. So if you if you have like one million data, and for getting an automation, it will take like let's say one or two days. So automation is always a scenario where it can reduce the manual effort. So if automation itself is running for one or two days, what we have achieved? So if you have data, let's say one million records. So one million records, one million records, and you want to execute and you want to test properly that each and every record is good. But all the time, if you want to run for one million records, it's a waste of time. So what you do? You generate a random number between one to one million. Let's say I want to generate between one and one million for hundred times. So what I'll do? I'll show a scenario where we can get all the random numbers. Of up to one million, so I'll write let i equal to zero, i less than hundred, less than equal to hundred, so i plus plus. So what I'll do here? So I want to always print a number between one and a million. So here, so hundred, thousand, ten thousand. It is one million. So I want only values between one to see. Now we got some values here. You can use these values and you can verify it in your script. So that's it for the video, guys. If you really like the video, please click on like. If you are a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then, guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.